So thank you guys for tuning in to my first YouTube channel. Um, I decided to do question and answer for this one just to basically, you know, go over everything, answer a couple questions that everybody wanted to know about the daughter herself, what I do, and just general random questions that everybody else had to, had to ask. I don't know how this is going to work because I don't know how to multitask, but, you know, <laughs> things stop, Fendi. Oh, y'all say hey to Finn. This is Fendi Marie. Say hey. She is bad as hell. She I had her on July 23rd. They killed her in the hospital for like two, wait, July, stop. Stop, they killed her in the hospital for like a month. So I didn't get her until, stop, until September 11th. Dang, they kept you for a long time. July, August, September. This is my daughter. All right, say bye. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna jump into this and knock a couple things out. Like I said, I will not go over like step-by-step -step detailed instructions of this look, but I will have all the products that I use in the description below. And then um, I'll just knock out the questions and answers while I'm doing this look. So the first couple questions is, um, what made you get into makeup? How long have you been doing it? Um, and what made you fall in love with it? First of all, I just want to say whatever it is that y'all want to do in life, just stay consistent. Like literally just stay consistent and keep practicing. Because when I first started doing makeup, like or actually kind of taking it serious, I was in college at North Carolina a t University. <laughs> And honestly, my makeup was trash. Like, y'all really have to genuinely stay consistent. Like, my makeup was trash. My eyebrows was horrible. And my face gave flashbacks that made me look like Casper. No lie. So, yeah. More of the story is stay consistent, sis. Um, alright, so next question is what's your favorite eyelash glue? I'ma go with duo, um, the white one, not the black one, because it dries clear, it lasts long, and it's easy to remove. Um, let's see, Sephora or Ulta. I'ma definitely say Ulta. I love love Ulta. If y'all want to get me a gift card, I love Ulta. So only because I feel like the people that work at Ulta are definitely more educated in skincare and products and brands that they're offered than Sephora. But that's just my opinion. No shaving though. Sephora is good. You know, they give out samples and whatnot. So I'm not like Sephora, but I'm definitely going to choose Ulta over Sephora. Um, um, let's get into some skincare esthetician questions. Let's see. So, um, should every person have a skincare routine slash regimen? Yes, everybody should definitely have some type of skincare routine of the basics, clean um, toner, moisturizer, and some type of um, sunscreen. I feel like you should do that every day. Your skin changes as you continue to age. Um, just because you had dry skin when you was in high school your skin tends to change based on the weather and as you age so having that normal basic skincare of a cleanse and a moisturizer or a cleanse and a toner a moisturizer um some hydration and some type of sunscreen would definitely keep your skin as flawless as you tend to age um so you should definitely like i said be performing those basics um every day and night however you should also add exfoliation in at least one to three times a week depending on your skin condition like if you have really dry skin don't over exfoliate your skin do it like at least one once a week or so um if you have like really really oily skin um you can definitely exfoliate a little bit more than someone who have dry skin exfoliation really just you know remove that top layer get rid of those dead skin cells um 
you know, give you that more smoother skin. Um, so definitely get into exfoliation and then performing masks. You can switch your mask up, like if you want to work on hyperpigmentation or uneven skin tones or you want to bring back moisture into your face, you can find a mask for almost anything. So definitely perform masks at least once or twice, uh, once or every two weeks. So you don't have to do that like every single day because you don't want to over excessively perform certain things on your face. Um, so that's my you know advice for that but we'll get into like a lot of more skincare regimen routines and stuff like that um in later videos in the future so make sure y'all just stay tuned for that all right random question what is your favorite movie hmm making up a hand if you would just use what you got to get what you want to stop messing with this chump change and what's that supposed to mean just what it sound like it's stupid girl Use what God gave you. What y'all, some prostitutes? Hell no. We dancers. <laughs> All right, so back to some serious questions. What makes your channel or business different from others? And what can women expect to gain from subscribing to your channel? Um, on my YouTube channel and in, and in my business as well, I don't want to just give free game. Like I don't want to just teach you how to do certain um, makeup makeup looks or certain techniques that work for me or give you skincare advice i want to incorporate my lifestyle as well just just to make it more fun and enjoyable and entertaining um and just give like free game and free advice on different things like life or business or any aspect of that even though i'm an esthetician i do do a lot of things i have been through a lot of things and i just want to be very transparent with everybody who choose to follow me and subscribe and just you know what i'm saying rock with me on this youtube thing okay so next question is what's the biggest habit that you had to break in order to reach your goals um and that will be um being lazy like with just with certain things like procrastinating with certain deadlines or anything like that like in general stuff in life as well um i was a really big procrastinator and i was lazy and i'm still working on practicing discipline in order to master discipline just so i can be like you know what i'm saying like, i can give 120 percent. like right now i feel like i'm doing way more better than i ever used to do in life in general but you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be very open. You have to criticize yourself. You have to figure out what those things are that you want to work on or that you need to work on in order to get where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? If you're a lazy person, be honest with yourself and work on that. If you are a procrastinator, be honest with yourself and work on that. Like, so just anything that you guys are doing, the the biggest thing is don't lie to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Be true to yourself. Forget everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And, like take the necessary steps that you have to take in order to work on fixing that particular flaw that you don't like about yourself or that you want to change about yourself so the next question is what motivates me and honestly my past my future and my family it was is what motivates me um my past is basically just where i come from wanting better for myself my future is my kids my future kids i don't have kids right now besides fendi of course you know that's my dog but just you know my future kids that motivates me because i know that i'm going to have kids i know that i'm going to have a family so in order to provide for them or give them the support and resources they need i have to financially be stable mentally be stable within myself so that i can reciprocate a lot of energy into teaching them things that need to be taught instead of having a family and i can't mentally be there for them or financially be there for them because i'm still in the process of getting to that stability stage if that makes sense so that's really what motivates me all right so back to some makeup questions let's see how long does it take for a face beat on myself um i don't really know how to multitask so if i'm focused it probably take me like roughly 45 to an hour if i'm doing stuff that i'm supposed to be doing it's probably going to take like an hour hour 30. okay so next question is how do you respond when your client asks you to perform something that you don't know how to do 
well that they know you don't know how to do honestly sis y'all like i feel like you know i've gotten better i'm good you know not just saying that i'm being humble but i really you know i ain't got everything all down pat yet just just give me give me a little bit more time and i got y'all i'll be able to perform anything that y'all want me to perform but sometimes at this stage that i'm in in my life i can't do that right now and you know and that's okay because it's all about growth we're gonna get there just not now i'm not i'm not really there yet but I'm going to take a small break um, and just finish up the foundation application, finish like concealing, contouring, doing all that good stuff since this is really strictly not a makeup um, video. But I'm going to kind of just sweep past this for the people who are tuning in for um, makeup. And then I'm going to come back and just finish the rest of the questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so the next question is Are you in a relationship with anyone? He dark skin, he got waves. He dark skin, he got waves. Psych, just kidding. He don't have waves, but you know. I'm not disclosing any of that information. I want to keep this as private as possible. I'm not even, it's not even that. But even if it was to be that, I'm going to keep it as private as possible. I feel like you should grow with people in private. You know, because then when you, when you go public, can't nobody ruin it, you know? Because it's like y'all bond so, so tight already. And that's just that on that. What Ari said. You know what I'm saying? But anyways... Um, the next question is, let's get back to some makeup questions. Okay, so one question is, do you prefer to freestyle makeup or have an image and mimic off that look? And like, which one is easier? Um, honestly, it depends. Like, before I didn't like freestyling, only because I didn't know what I was doing. So having a look to mimic off of was easier so if you just starting out i would definitely say have a look to mimic off of 
Um, but once you, you know what I'm saying, like get the basis down, know how to put colors together for um eyeshadows and stuff like that, know how to perfectly cut a crease and things of that sort, freestyling do become like really, really fun. Um, easier. Uh, it just depends. Okay, so the next question is, how do you match um, skin tones, foundations, highlights, and concealers? I'm not going to really go in depth for this question only because I want to do like a whole YouTube video of like just, you know, going over all of this and the perfect way to do it, the best way to do it. But as far as just like one heads up tip. When it comes down to foundation, what I do is take a small amount of the foundation and I test it on the outside of my hand. Not the palm, but the outside of my hand. Not your wrist either, but just the outside of my hand. Make sure it's a really, really small amount and then blend it in. Like, just, you know, blend it in with your hand. Like, if you're in the store, whatever the case may be, just blend it in with your hand. And that's how I match my foundation. Um, but like I said, I'll go more in depth of that in a different video. So definitely stay tuned if that's something that you're interested in, um, wanting to know. Okay, so the next question is, when do you perform makeup on yourself for the first time and for a client the first time or on someone else? So like I said before, I was doing makeup on myself a long time ago, whether it was cute, that's a different story. You know, that picture that I posted though in the beginning of this video that probably was like from 26 2016 2017 something like that um and the first time i actually did makeup on someone was without like counting family and friends and stuff like that like actually doing someone that i don't know or didn't know at that moment i'm gonna say 20 last year so 20 what's this 20 so 2019 maybe 2019 around august yeah <laughs> you know i ain't really do too bad it was all right it was all right so the next question is how often do you work out i honestly work out some sort every day or maybe six out of seven days a week um I'm not always in the gym, but I do perform some type of workout almost every day. Um, do you work out in makeup? If I'm in the gym, no. However, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm if I'm out doing what I gotta do, then I might have on makeup. You're in my business. Don't do that. I'm oh. just joking, y'all. Don't take me serious. But um, let's see. So the next question is, how do you keep your face from oiling up when you have on makeup um make sure you use a good primer i honestly consider a white base primer so um you can use like any the primer that i use i'll basically put it down below as well that i use in this particular video you can also use um calamine lotion as a primer that's really good you can use um milk magnesia as a primer that's really good or you can always prep your face with setting powder like a translucent powder and that'll control the moisture in your face so basically once you start sweating or whatever the case may be it'll seep through that um setting powder before even touching your makeup which will result in not having your makeup look really really oily Okay, guys, thanks so much for tuning in with me. This was so much fun doing this first video. Um, You guys sent a lot of questions in for me to answer, and I feel like I knocked most of them out for the most part. Um, So definitely stay tuned. Like, subscribe, and comment. Let your good girlfriends know. You know what I'm saying? That the daughter herself is on YouTube. I'm going to drop all the products that I use for this video down below, as well as my Instagram and other social media platforms. And if you guys have any suggestions on things that you want to see, make sure you drop it down in the comment. Thanks again. Bye.
yeah, 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 This one I got to do with the job, da. Me, I know get time, I did da, ba, da. Dada cover my face, calling me la, ba, jow. 